Hi, and welcome to Field Engineering. I'm your host, J.D. Brake, and we have a special guest today. Uh, Jacob Finley is with us today. How are you doing, Jacob? Good. How are you today? Good. I Well, I brought you on here because we just brought on the UEI line of test instruments, and you've got some in-field experience, don't you? I do. You actually just pulled me out of the field today. Yeah. Um, I was a service tech for about five years, okay. um, HVAC service tech and electrical. Uh, now you know I work in the custom controls division here, right. which is kind of our contracting wing. So I am still out in the field, and I still carry instruments similar to these in my bag every day. Here, this is a uh, infrared uh, laser gun here. Now, what would you use this for? Where do you commonly see this? So that's really handy for quick temperature measurements whenever you're trying to determine a problem quickly. Okay. Um, they're not always really precise. Okay. Um, they're not always um, great at taking really on target ac accurate measurements. Okay. But whenever you're running around in a building and you're trying to hit 50 diffusers and see, you know, which ones are possibly blowing out cold air, which ones are blowing out hot air. Right. Um, they're very good for that. Okay. Definitely so you... always keep one of those in my bag to run around, hit diffusers with. Um, you can shine them on cold water lines. Uh, basically anything that you just need a quick measurement of to make sure it's cold, make sure it's hot, and keep going. Thanksgiving turkey? Can Thanksgiving you use that for turkey, yes. Oh, well, I don't know if I'd use it for that if you're going <laughs> to eat it. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, as you can see, it was pretty easy. I just pulled the handle yep. off and put the batteries in there, and then I guess there's the LCD display yep. right so there. So it's got Fahrenheit and Celsius. Okay. Like I said, I basically run around. I'm going to hit that light. This light, I can see they're putting about 113 degrees out. If I want to see if something's cold, you can find a diffuser. I can see that that's putting out 63 degree air. Now I'm good to go. I know Very this cool. diffuser's working right. I know these lights are hot. If they were vents, they would be hot air coming out. Right. Um, anything like that, you can tell in a real quick, pretty accurate measurement of what's happening. It helps you move on and figure out what you're going to do next. Very cool. Now let's move over to the multimeter here. I noticed yeah. this is a little different. We actually, we did a video with Phil Kimball. Uh, we went over how to use a multimeter. I highly suggest you check that out if you haven't already. Right. Um, but this one comes equipped with an app and you can actually record your readings yep. and spit out reports live in the field. So tell us about this and why this is such a key uh, tool out there as a service technician out in the field. So this is something I wish I would have had for the five years I was a service tech <laughs> and of course I didn't. Right. So this with the app allows okay. you to record readings um, which could be voltage, amperage, um, or with this one even temperature and temperature differential because it provides two temperature probes. Um, so basically you can connect to the Bluetooth app, which I think Let's you were going to walk yeah. through. I'm going to open that up here. First thing you have to do is power up your UEI instrument here. Okay. Download the correct app, which is the UEI instrument app. You can find all the info in the, in the, uh, I see that. Yeah. You so you've got the yep. menu record function, graph range, yep. a whole bunch of options here with this. So first thing I'm going to do is to hit the link button. Okay. We got to connect it. Okay. And then, and then if you go to your menu, Okay. Go to connect. Okay. I show a BT here on the reading, which stands for Bluetooth. Yep, and the Bluetooth symbol just popped up. Just popped up. There it is. So now we're connected. This would be a great, great tool so we can if see. you have to do something that requires you maybe walk into another place in the plant to flip some switches, to check some relays, um, to adjust some valves. And you want to leave this here recording so that whenever you come back, you can see what you did changed, how the system changed because of what you did. Okay. So we can do a quick show here with these temperature sensors. I'm going to plug one into T1 and one into T2. Okay. These are just uh, little thermistors here. I'm going to go to the temperature reading on the meter. Okay. And whenever I do that, you yep, should see it switch changed. right over yep. onto the app. So there at the bottom right, you can see T1, which is our T1 probe. Okay. You could place that, say, on a inlet line of a coil, of maybe a water coil on a fan coil box, something okay. like that. And then we could place our T2 maybe on the outlet. And there you can check your T2 temperature, if you hit it again. You hit it one yep. more time. And it'll actually show you your temperature differential. It's a differential, there you go. T1 minus T2, I got it. So if you had both of these secured to a cold water supply and return on a coil, 
You could then record it here. Go make adjustments to maybe, there you go. <coughs> the record so now button. we're recording. Now we're recording. So say you turn something on and you start to see one temperature go up. Okay. This will tell you maybe while you're in the plant making adjustments to valves, making adjustments to temperature settings on the building automation front end. Sure. Um, you can see how your temperature differential changes as uh, you adjust things in the system there. Very cool. And then just the graph button, that just kind of will spit out. There you go. You see a live kind of graph line there. Looks awesome. like that old, what was that game with the line going around on the old Snake? computer game? Yeah. Oh, gosh. So no. addicted to that. Yep. <laughs> but very handy. I, I wish for, there's years and years I have in my head of, of situations where being able to log things while I was walking across the building to make adjustments right. would have helped tremendously. Instead, I had to leave my iPhone there on camera watching the meter <laughs> while I went to make changes or have a helper stay there and watch things. So this is just I mean, the benefits are insane with that. Awesome. Well, and let's move on to this one. I want to talk about this because um, our producer, Tyler, said this is actually something every homeowner should have. So I this agree. is a voltage tester. It is. So kind of tell us about this and uh, what are the uses for that voltage tester and why that is, um, I guess, why that has an advantage over the competition. Okay. So this is a non-contact voltage tester. It's a quick, sometimes we call them a touch tester. Um, okay. You load the batteries in once you get it. It's pretty simple. Put okay. her back together here. Maybe. Looks like a Tide pen. It does. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so that's. So this range, the reason this is better than a lot of your competitors that you're gonna find, they have these at every hardware store. Right. The reason this one's great is because it goes down to 24 volts. Uh, most of them are only oh. rated for about 100 volts, which is something you would find in your home um, or higher, something okay. you find on a commercial site. These go all the way down to 24 vac, which is awesome for our HVAC service techs yeah. because more times than not, we have a control problem. Mm -hmm. There's a 24 volt signal somewhere that we've lost, something that we're trying to make sure is there, something we're trying to make sure isn't there. This is a really quick way to touch test that and make sure that you've got your 24 volts. Awesome. But it does go all the way up to, I believe, 1000 volts and it is Cat4 rated, okay. so OSHA compliant. Awesome device. I'm gonna do a little example here. If we put plug this in, you can see it lighting up red there to let us know that this plug is hot. And it's red great. Red means for, you're dead, right? Red, you red's don't dead. Get shot. Yes. And so, uh, like you were saying, this is great for homeowners to have too, because a lot of yeah. homeowners are gonna be really that's that's going to be daunting to most homeowners. There's right. a lot of functionality on there. Right. Now, service techs, electricians, are, of course, are going to want all that. A lot of times a homeowner just wants to know if an outlet's hot or not, and this will safely let them stick it into the outlet. If it lights up red, they know they've got power there, and they can move on. Awesome. Okay, now what about the static pressure uh, sensor over here? Yeah, so this is a manometer. These are really handy um, for service techs that work a lot with... Uh, maybe VAV systems or even residential systems if you're checking for static pressure and duct work. Um, it comes in a sealed rubber case here, which I always need on my tools because I drop them about 300 <laughs> times a day. It's like my iPhone case. Yep. Looks like it. Almost thicker. These take a 9 volt battery. We just have a little 9 volt, nine volt connector in here. Okay. So Very once cool. you get that hooked up. And the batteries come with this too, by the way. So the 9 volts Good. do come with it. So we are in. Now what's commonly, when you got that thing powered uh -huh. up, where do you commonly use this so, uh, tool out in the field? There's two places that you commonly use these. One is in duct work. So a lot of times you're looking for a differential pressure maybe in a duct work, or you're looking just for the static pressure in a duct work. Okay. If you're looking for static pressure, you basically want to you know, hook up some of your hosing here to your high pressure side. So this is plus is the high pressure plus side. Plus is your high pressure, pressure side, pressure minus side. is your low pressure side. Okay. So if you're looking for static pressure in a duct work, you want to compare it to the outside atmospheric pressure. So you're just going to leave this port okay. open. You can drill a small hole and you can actually slide this inside the duct work. Yeah. You want to face those to where the air's blowing into it. And there's got a magnet on these so they stick, which is really nice. nice. So boom, that's going to stick on your duct work. You take your other side of your hose and you're going to put it on the probe. And right there, you've got your static pressure reading. Um, another thing these are commonly used for is, which every residential contractor knows, is gas pressure. Hmm. So once you um, install your LP conversion kit or you've got your um, natural gas plumbed into your residential furnace, you can hook this up to here. It comes with fittings that will probably fit most gas valves. 
um, which is nice because I used to lose them all the time and my boss used to get mad. So I'm sure <laughs> that's great. Um, you can hook that right up there. You're going to take the same type of reading okay. right on the positive side to the negative atmospheric pressure. And it'll go down low enough so you can make sure you have your you know, one inch water column, 0.7 inch water column, whatever it is you're looking for um, on your gas pressure as well. Awesome. Yeah, so, so the temperature pr or the pressure probes come with it, the tubing. Yep. Now, what are these plastic little T-bars here? These are basically for if you've got a couple of different tubings you're looking to hook up to. Okay. Sometimes on static pressure, um, in duct, they'll want a handful of probes around a duct. Maybe you've got two or three probes coming in, you want to hook up here, and then you can hook up your I main gotcha. probe okay. here to read back to your meter. So gotcha. sometimes large ducts want multiple readings in different areas on it. So that's just basically a way to help you in case you have multiple tubing coming in that you're trying to read once one thing from. You can use this to kind of T-tap into everything. So definitely handy. Okay, well, let's, uh, lastly, let's talk about yep. this temperature probe here. Pretty simple, right? So yeah, this temperature probe um, comes with a little button battery already installed. Just got on off um, Fahrenheit Celsius. So it's Minimax. reading the ambient temperature right now, right? Right now it's okay. reading. It also folds up oh, very to cool. stick in your bag, which is nice, because again, I lose and break everything. Um, so these are handy for whenever something like this, okay. your, your infrared spot tester, right. isn't maybe accurate enough. Maybe you've pinpointed the problem and now you're really looking for a really accurate temperature. This is something you can use in multiple situations. You can drill a hole in a duct um, easily slide that in there and measure very accurately your discharge air temperature, return air temperature, outside air temperature, whatever duct you're plumbing it into. And then another thing you can really use these for, I'm not sure what the rating is on these, but it's pretty high. I'm pretty sure um, residential furnace techs, yeah. I know a lot of times I would be checking for high limit operation and um, for uh, maybe for maybe have a rollout limit that's tripping a lot in a, okay. in a residential furnace. This is something you could use to stick in there. It can withstand a higher temperature, and you can use that to make sure that you maybe you want to check and make sure the limit's bad, or to check and make sure the limit is working properly, and maybe that uh, your furnace is getting too hot. Yeah. So it's something you can use in a multi multitude of situations, but the good thing about it is higher temperature and way more accurate. Awesome. Appreciate it, Jacob. Thanks for coming on. I no mean, problem. this was a great learning experience. And I mean, these are all things that you should have on the truck, correct? I, mean, I agree. This is like you said, you wish you had these I do. several occasions. So don't yep. make the same mistake. Uh, all these products are available at Jackson Systems. So you can give us a call anytime at 888-652-9663. And they're on the website. Check them out. So Jacob, thank you very much for no coming on the show Thanks and telling us about in. these great test instruments. I'm JD Brake. Thanks for watching Field Engineering. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smack that like button below. And if you want notifications on brand new videos that are coming out tailored just for you, be sure to subscribe right here to the Jackson Systems YouTube channel. Now, if there's some videos you missed, you can always check it out right here. Go ahead and click. Subscribe. Other videos. Like. Do it.